what is going on guys sterling with handsome wp here and in this video we're going to take a look at how to disable the coupon field on your handsome checkout and cart page now let's uh let's get right into this we have three different methods we're going to use one is using a function one is using css one is actually using a graphical way of uh, that WooCommerce has built in. And then the other one is going to be using handsome checkout. So actually technically four ways. So let's get right into this. Let's come over to WooCommerce. This is just going to be the graphical way. Let's get it out of the way. Uh, the downside to using this method is that it will disable all coupon use on your site. So say you are selling uh, five different products and you've built some different product sales pages um, and you're loading, say, some kind of one page checkout. Or, or you've built some custom checkout templates and you are loading them in separate pages, this will disable all coupon use across the entire site. Uh, and that's just coming down to settings, general, and then if you come down to enable coupons and you uncheck this, that is going to disable coupon use across the entire website. So that can work if you don't want a coupon code and you're never planning on using them, this method, method would work. But if you are wanting to maybe have uh, coupons usable on certain products or usable on certain checkout pages, um, then this method would not really work for you. So then we would have to look towards using CSS or using uh, a function to do that. So let's come down to our tools. I'm going to open up my advanced scripts. Now I just want to mention if you don't, uh, I love advanced scripts. It's absolutely amazing. It allows you to add different types of scripts and enable them and set conditions on where they display and all kinds of really awesome stuff. Um, if you don't want to purchase something like that, there is an awesome plugin called Code Snippets. And I'll just search that up real quick so you can see what that looks like. And this is gonna this is gonna allow you, it won't be quite as uh, quite as seamless as advanced scripts, but here you can uh, add code snippets or for C the CSS method, adding your scripts via header and footer scripts plugin, which adds a little section to your actual page content. So I'll show you what that looks like real quick. So if we just come down to our cart page and we edit. And then here you can see this little script section. So you could put uh, in style tags your your CSS to hide to hide your cart field if you wanted. So that is also also an option. But um, but we're going to go and take a look at this code real quick. So let's take a look first at the function. This top section is going to hide the coupon field on the checkout page and this second section is going to hide it on the cart page so uh so yeah pretty pretty straightforward if you wanted to have it hidden on the checkout but not on the cart you could just you know delete this section or vice versa so if you wanted to enable this for a specific page say you had a few different checkout pages that you were using uh, using some other plugin and you wanted to target specific checkout pages you would want to come into this if statement here and you would just want to add some other uh, some other logic in here that would target the specific page you want. Now, I'm not going to run through that in this video. Maybe in another video we'll do that. But basically, that would be the way that you'd want to target specific pages using the function. Um, it's a little bit more of an advanced way to do it, but you can. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's test this out on the front end. Let's see what it looks like. So here I am on my checkout page. You can see here I have my coupon code. So I have this big blue bar. Let's say I'm not offering a coupon on this product and I don't want to. Let's come back to my advanced scripts. We will save and activate. And then we'll head back to our checkout page and refresh. And you can see that coupon code has disappeared. So let's come back to our advanced scripts and deactivate this one. And let's take a look at our CSS. So our CSS is a little more straightforward. Um, we have two different selectors. So one of these selectors is on the checkout and one of these is for the cart form. So if you want it in there comma separated, you can see there's a comma in between them and then we're just dis adding display none to our coupon field. So this works as well. So here we are back on our checkout page. Let's refresh now that we've enabled our CSS script and our CSS code and now it has hidden that coupon field as well. So really pretty straightforward. The nice thing about the CSS is you can pop it into that page section um, if we go to, let's just edit our checkout page actually. So say we wanted to just run this on our checkout page and not on any of our other custom checkouts that we've created or something like that, we could we could plop that CSS uh, right here as I mentioned earlier, which is kind of nice and that would only run on this page. Um, now lastly, let's take a look at a handsome checkout and how easy it is to do this. So first of all, let's disable our CSS so we're not hiding it uh, site wide. And then we're gonna come down to handsome checkout and open up all of our checkouts. We're gonna come down to the My Handsome Checkout and we will open our edit page. 
and then um, let's scroll down here to the field section and you can see that we have a field section that says uh, that has a coupon box checkbox so let's check that coupon box checkbox and update and then let's come back up and open up this handsome checkout in another tab and you can see over here to the right I have a coupon field input that is enabled so I can put that in apply that now that will show up kind of wherever it is set to show up in the template it'll show up there um, but in the multi-product template that's that's where it shows up and then if we disable that just by unchecking that box and resaving and we come back up to our handsome checkout and refresh you're going to see that coupon field disappear so really super easy i want to thank you guys so much for watching my name is sterling with handsome wp if you have any other questions or any other uh, woocommerce wordpress related questions be sure to get them in the comments below and we can create a video around that um, we're going to be creating a ton of awesome WordPress slash WooCommerce based videos. So if you like these videos, subscribe, please, and throw a thumbs up. really helps us out. And if you'd like to know about any of our products or plugins that we've created, we'll have links to those in the description. I want to thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.